Hello everyone, welcome back to the trenches. I'm Corporal T here, and today I'll be showing you guys the awesome trench that I have made. So let's get into the video. <laughs> So this trench basically came into being um, probably a week ago. It took about three hours to make. Um, it is not completely historically accurate. Uh, please no comments about it not being historically accurate. The sandbags are not historically accurate and it's not in any specific army regulation uh, being. Like it's not in any of that. It's kind of just something I popped together. Um, but basically I also did not dig this trench. This is a natural irrigation ditch, kind of. Not an irrigation ditch, but it's just a natural ditch that I found out under the woods behind our new house. Um, because the lands that we live um, on are covered by the RPA, I'm not allowed to dig anything. So I just plopped a bunch of stuff here and it works and it looks good. So without further ado, here we go. This trench is about three feet deep just deep enough to keep you completely concealed with a layer of sail bags on you. You can lay down and it's actually meant to be used as an MG nest. You usually wouldn't, you know, this isn't meant for people, it's meant for a machine gun. Um, as you can see here, this wall uh, is actually a gate on a bunk bed, wooden gate on a bunk bed, that I actually took and I covered it with the sticks and leaves it's like if you're down there you can't you can't even tell that it's there it's pretty it's pretty sick um so that's that part then i don't know if you can see but this wood here uh is a part of pallets that i took apart laid them down here they're not they're kind of loose here uh so actually i'm going to come back later tie them all down and put um pins and stuff in them just to make sure they don't go over anywhere with heavy rain and stuff now, these sandbags are actually sandbags I got off of Amazon. They're not the period correct canvas type ones, uh, but they absolutely work. I think they look amazing. Uh, yes, I filled them with dirt, uh, but not from here. The um, sandbags, I actually got it back in October of 2021. Uh, we were doing like some type of, like a type of trick or treat thing and we were making a World War II display. Um, but as we all know, the canvas ones are really, really, really expensive for some good ones. So I bought these ones and they have logos. You can kind of see one right here, but if you pack it right, you can put it to where you can't really see the logos. So yeah, that's the sandbags. There are 30 of them. I got, I think we got them for 30 for like 15 bucks. Really cheap on Amazon. It looks absolutely amazing. Definitely gonna see it in future videos. If you haven't already seen it, in the video um, if COVID were during World War II. Right here you can see our handy dandy mortar. Um, now this mortar is also not correct. Um, it's actually made of PVC pipe. I'm gonna take these off, but it actually actually um, used to work with candy. Basically what would happen is you had this fire mechanism with um, bungee cords and you pull the bungee cord spring down and it would launch, this, launch the candy like 20, 30 feet. No joke actually kind of a deadly weapon but really sick so is that a tick yep that's a tick spring am i right this mortar is not accurate but it looks good now we're going to head down to the actual layout of the ditch um trench sorry um this trench lays out i would say it's about 10 feet wide and probably a good 10 feet long it's it's pretty same size on either side but basically this would be the enter. You'd come down here and it slopes down into this trench here. You have one, la one line of sandbags here, three high, and one line here, three high. Uh, then you have the wood, the mortar, and the wall. Now, there's also a wall here, which we'll get to in a second. Now here you can see trench wall one. It's basically the ladder of the same bunk bed and leaves and sticks thrown on top of it. And that's trench wall number two. Now that trench wall is also the bunk bed um, with sticks and leaves. <laughs> what do you guys? Um, it actually looks pretty good. As, it can, as you can tell, we had a really, really, really heavy rain a couple days ago, so a lot of it's washed away. And that's pretty much the trench. If you liked it, 
then I would encourage you to like, share, and subscribe. A lot of work, as you can tell, goes into making these videos. So please, like, share, and subscribe. Comment down in the video if you liked it, what you enjoyed about it, or what you want to see next. I think that's all we got for today, boys. Corporal T out.